rock climb your canopy to make it rain from time to time. Tell me things I don't wanna know. Said everything's fine, everything. You submitting these? Yeah, I'm gonna submit oh, them. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So two days, what taking like a month or? Or not two day, five days. Are like you doing okay? You want to do BGS? BGS, yeah. No, hey, five day, more than two months. Uh, five days are like three to four weeks right now. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So we'll we'll do the five day on all of them. Okay. Cool. That's Got the Ronaldo downtown. Shout out to Mitch at the bullpen for that one. And a couple messy yeah, kabooms. So one of these is scratched up, but uh, hoping for at least a gem on one of them. We'll see what happens. So. What do you want to do now? I guess we can over to the show. Oh, okay. Might as well. Dallas, day one, baby. Let's go. How's it going? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, good to see you. How are we doing, man? Pretty good. Pretty, uh, I just got in here. Pretty active. Oh, yeah. A, uh, for a little trade night VIP. Oh, not bad. I mean, yeah, it's more busy, bad. I think, than last time this day. I think we got national time. next month. I think this is the last two raw before the national. Are you setting up? Uh, so, yeah, I'm with Santiago. We, we got a oh, nice. showcase. So we're going to walk around, but we're going to do a little bit of sit down in the yeah. background. See, so, yeah, I haven't set up here yet, but I'm definitely trying to set up in the future. Dude, like when I set up in Miami, it was amazing, bro. Like, yeah, you get a lot of good walk-ups. Yeah, stuff. and people just come up and they just say what's up and they want to do deals and trades and all yeah. that stuff. And it's just good. It's good. Yeah. So you're waiting to get your dealer pass? Yeah, from uh, yeah. I'm with Santiago. So they, dude, Santiago's flight got delayed. So yeah. I'm excited, man. Dude, it's, it's gonna be all, all, good, good to see. I'll see you around. Yeah, we'll I think Gretzky is so underappreciated in the hobby. So if you look at the grading on the PSAs, because Beckett does such a crappy job of keeping track. Yeah. Of, of the whole population graded Gretzky cards, what percent do you think are 8, 9, or 10? 8, 9, or 10? Like 5, 10 percent? 5 percent. Yeah. Those cards, it's like 30 percent. Yeah. 40 percent. Yeah, they're tough grades. They're, I mean, you, they were hand like, cut. And, and you can argue who the best basketball player was all day. You can't argue Gretzky. Can't argue. Nine MVPs? What would be the best? You would do with those two in, in terms of cash. Trade yeah, maybe stuff I can use. The best in cash for those. I guess the the question is like, what's the value on like those two? I mean. I'm taking a loss on this one, so yeah. So I, I would do 45 for the pair. Okay. The last one of these did 29.50, and then before that, like 31. It, it averages out to 3k. Yeah. This is the tricky one. There's a lot of different colors for this set, so there's only like one of the silver this, that sold. No, I know all about the OSIT. Yes, the, the yeah. I mean, the XRC. Yeah, I have a bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, so before that, the, re the reason why, I mean, you know, vintage, right? I appeal, I mean, all the things, it's not centered. Well. It's not centered, but it, the edges and corners are good. So, I mean, at least you got that going for you. No, I think on the, I mean, the Gretzky's. The Gret these are, these are always off center. 3,000 like. on it? Three, yeah. And I'll just, I'll just tell you the way I look at this stuff. If I'm trading down on this, yeah, I want to be at like, I, I don't want to trade down on this problem. Uh -huh. you know I mean, if you gave me straight cash, I'd give you a great deal on it. I mean, I would take that at 25, and I would take that at like 1,300 to trade. Okay. Put that at 12,000. That's if you want to do that. It's just so you wouldn't be able to move off that 12k. I just don't want to. Yeah. I mean, how how far would you be able to move if it was just cash? Probably you said 11, 11, 10, 5, 11. I would be able to do 27 trade on that. Yeah. And what'd you say on this I would one? Do 13, 20. Like, Thir I mean, that's where I'd do 13 and 27, so. so 25 and 30. That's where, I, if I'm trading down on that, that's where the value is on one of those cards. Just, in the, I mean, it is what it is. It's, I'm just trying to find something I can sell, right? I mean, so 11, yeah, 11.5 minus 37 is uh, It's 78. I'm close. That's gonna be my best, man. I mean, just because the messy is what it is. I don't really want to sell the World Cup 14 stuff. Yeah. Because uh, it's becoming, uh, it's crazy. Yeah. I'll do 7,500 cash. I mean, I don't want to be, that's where I need to be at. 78 on that one. I came down to, we were at 83. <laughs> I came down to 11.5 11 on that. So. And 
I get it. I mean, cash is what it is. It's just like on a card like this. Yeah. Let's do it. I don't want to. I don't want to lose it over three hundred. It's gonna go up. You're gonna make money on it. I just moved the nine five ten and I regretted it. So yeah, there you go. I'm, happy, you I'm happy to have it. Yeah. There you go. You went to I mean, if you're looking for like a Euro flip, technically, Portugal is there. It's like the only comp was that card. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just high on this, yeah, so I mean, to be honest, with even with 2800 in trade, you, you know what I mean? I'm kind of even on it. Yeah. Which I'm cool with doing, because obviously I love him, but... I like him too. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still losing money. I would do 25 yeah. cash. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. I think the lowest I can go, honestly, is to not lose right now. It'd be like 27. Is that for you? Yeah, it's up to him. I, 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 I would, I would let you have something. To I'll think about it and I'll come back. It's just, I just don't. If there was more comps, I'd probably be willing to do it. It's just, I can't even get that one comp to load. I mean, I take your word that you paid 35. Yeah, 25 is my number for now, but I'll, I'll come back and. But you can't buy it. That's what I'm saying. I just don't want to lose money on it. I feel you, yeah. Um, I got it at the last Dallas show. I paid 700 for it, so basically breaking even. Yeah. What if we meet in the middle of 26? Yeah, let's do 26. Sounds right. good. Appreciate it. You're the mayor. Of course, what's your Instagram? Uh, Tampa Card Shop Brian. Sweet, yeah. We're opening, yeah, we're opening a shop in about two weeks. Oh, awesome, uh, man. Right in the heart of Tampa. So. Congrats. Yeah, That's awesome. So if you ever come down to the Clearwater Show, stop by. Yeah, I, I haven't been down to Florida yet, but if I do, <laughs> yeah, definitely will. It's a, it's a yeah. fun show. All right, guys, it is 2 a.m. It is time for bed, time to get some sleep. The show um, is on tomorrow, Friday. It's going to be a big day. Uh, first official day of the show. These are my two big pickups for today. So we got the Ronaldo Immaculate Auto out of 20 and the Messi 2014 Prism PSA 10 Auto. And this card is a Pop 22. Pop 22, you heard that right. Only 22 of these in PSA 10. So super stoked on that. I did previously have this card as a 9510 and I feel like based on the value I got for the 9510, this at around 11, 11 ish was a pretty fair price. So we'll see how I can do on that. Um, even if I can't move it right away, I don't mind holding that card uh, for a little bit. Um, but yeah, the plan for tomorrow is attack and uh, get some more cash. I did spend kind of more cash than I was expecting and hoping to spend today, but two opportunities presented themselves. And I feel like if I didn't bounce on this, that someone else definitely could have gotten it because I feel like it was priced very competitively. So yeah, um, there were a few people who came up to me at the show today who said they're supporters of the channel, so uh, I really appreciate you guys. You guys know who you are. Um, if you're watching, I appreciate it. So yeah, uh, that's going to be it for the video. Going to get back at it tomorrow for day two of the Dallas show. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please slap a like. Uh, it helps out a lot. And leave a comment down below. I read all the comments, and I'll try to reply to all the questions if you do have any questions. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Peace out. Driving, I need it so inspiring. Peace and quiet.